I forgot my card. Hello. Hey, welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Okay, I'm Holly Bell. For those who, if this is your first video, welcome. All right. Now, how do you know if you are living your life in love or in belief? There's another way that you can oh, instantly, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. So, what happens is when we're living in belief is when these tiny little things pop up. And you know what I'm talking about. One of them is anger. Oh, I'm so angry right now. <laughs> anger comes up to show you that you're looking at something not through the eyes of love, but through the eyes of belief and judgment, right? Through a belief, you, you know, made your mind up that things were a certain way. And when they don't show up that way, uh, anger, right? We're gonna come back to this whole belief thing. We're gonna talk more about it. We did in the first 400 videos, but you know, there's, um, I'm on a whole new level now. <laughs> so these messages are coming through with a different vibration, with a different frequency, because I'm just, yeah, okay? Uh, uh, unbelievable. Um, so, okay. So anger is one of them. The next one that will show up when you're in belief and not truth, you know, or not looking at the world with the eyes of love, will be sadness right you get this intense sadness you just want to cry and there's different types of tears right because <laughs> some of the tears are the sadness you're releasing the sadness and some of them are just like for me this last year i just get so overwhelmed with love it feels like my heart overflows and then i just can't contain the tears but they're tears of joy and tears of love and just ah. Uh, just can't explain it but <laughs> but that's happened a lot in the last year or so um, I've just had uh, experiences that have touched me in ways that that they just can't be explained in words but so beautiful you know that I just wish I wish everybody could be here you know in this space of love and that's what I'm trying to get you to because that's what we're all here for for love you know and anyway let's not get off topic because the love one is for another topic right but what is love what is the love that I'm talking about the third thing that usually shows up there's other emotions and feelings that show up but they're usually a degree of these three so we had the anger that comes up then the sadness that comes up right and then there's the fear that's created so if there's a situation and you're looking at it and it's creating fear inside of you, then you're looking at that through the eyes of some belief that you've planted there a long time ago, right? They're the three things, as well as, you know, asking the question, is this true for me, for everyone and everything? That's a really great question. Is it true? You know? And if you can honestly say with your hand on your heart, no, <laughs> then it's not true, right? It's not love. It's a judgment or it's a belief, right? Now, judgment and belief kind of go hand in hand because once you've created a belief about something, that belief is what causes you to have all these judgments about that thing. And, you know, uh, since I've had all these awakenings in this last year, I always, always say to my daughter, don't create a belief about it. Don't place anything on it. Because as soon as you've created a belief that that's the way it is, you've just canceled out any other possibility, right? And this beautiful universe is all about infinite possibilities. It doesn't know anything else, but it has to respect your free will. So once you decide with the belief that that's the way it is, because that's how I'm looking at it. And that's just as it, you know, that's the way it is. There's no other way. It can't be anything else, but that, because that's what I've decided. That's how belief comes about. You decide it. Now belief comes from a lot of conditioning in our childhood, right? Our parents may say the same thing over and over and over and over and over. 
until eventually it's like, okay, <laughs> I got it. That's the way it is. You know, for me growing up, one of the beliefs was the world is a dangerous place, right? That was the belief. But is that true for me, for everything and everyone, right? Does the sun come up in the morning and go, oh, I won't come out today. It's too dangerous. You know, it's not safe. <laughs> or does a tree stop growing because, oh, it's a dangerous place. Oh, it's not safe. You know, or does a bird not sing in the, you know, in the tree? It's sitting there and it has a chance to sing. Does it think first, oh, no, I better not sing because, you know, it's not safe. This is a dangerous place. <laughs> no. So, you know, uh, they're beliefs that are created. Um, another belief you know, that I was so angry about for so long. And there's the thing, I'm angry because it's a lie, right? And I didn't realize that that was the connection, that that's what my anger was from, that I'd been told this lie and I had chosen to believe it. I went into my adult years believing, you know? Through church, we were taught that we're separate from God. We're separate from our creator, right? And so throughout most of my adult years, I was so angry about that, you know. Uh, but then, of course, when you start to understand belief and truth and what love really is, is that you realize, oh, it can't be, you know. <laughs> I can't be separate from God because God is in all things, right? Source, universe, God, whatever you want to call it, is this magical energy that is in all things it's in everything it's in the trees in the birds in the sun in me in you in the table in front of me in the chair that i'm sitting on it's in everything everything has energy and that energy that beautiful life force energy you can call it universe life source god whatever name you want to give it and that is real and that exists and it is in everything. So that's why for so many of us, uh, when I was a child, the notion of being separate from God actually created intense sadness for me throughout my childhood because I didn't want to be separate from God. You know, I didn't like the feeling of being separate from God. And then with, you know, in my adult years, that turned into anger, you know. Um, because deep down you know it's not true and that's what makes you angry that all these people <laughs> you know they drip fed you all this information over and over and over again that God is separate he's this old man that sits up in the sky and he's full of judgments and there's gonna be judgment day and you know all this stuff right and then one day you wake up and you feel the presence inside of you and then you realize all of that is just a uh, fantasy it's just someone's imagination but it's not the truth it's not real and it's not what god is what source is what the universe is what the life force energy is whatever it is you want to call it this beautiful intelligence that's in all things and that's the magic it's in all things not out there not way up there, far, far away, in this point that you can never reach. And if you're still in the belief that you are separate from your creator, put your hand on your heart right now. What does your heart tell you? Does it tell you, yes, this is true? You are separate. What do you feel in your heart? when you ask that question. Go about your day today, just have a quiet moment that you can just sit and meditate with yourself. Just sit with yourself. If you're not into meditation, it doesn't matter. Sit in a nice spot if there's sunshine, if you can hear the birds sing. And ask yourself, ask, am I really separate from God? And see what comes up. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.